This is a story of a little scav that lived in a forest near the customs terminal. There he would pick berries and collect condensed milk that he would find around. But this day, this day was special. He was able to find a dead PMC. That never happened before. Upon closer inspection, he saw that the PMC was alone and forgotten. When on it, he found some loot that definitely never happened before. He decided he will pick it up and sell it for a good buck. But how will he know how much does it worth? He would have to ask somebody who knows. He would have to ask his uncle Rashala. His uncle lived close by. So he went to his home. Upon arriving there, he saw that something is wrong. Something is off and he could smell it. He could sense it. What could it be? He creeped inside of the house, slowly, checking all of his corners, trying to find what is wrong. It's close. It's really, really close. And then he saw it. A dead PMC. He moved closely to it. <gasps> a loot, even better one. This never happened before. Two dead PMCs in one day. He has to pick everything up. He has to find his uncle. He has to show him this. But that's the issue. His uncle is not there. Where could he be? This is his house. He looked for him. He looked close. He walked to the house and look for him. But first, he has to pick up all of the loot. This is amazing. This never happened before. The grenades. Five bullets. Okay, that's not that great. But yeah, it's enough for him. It's enough for this little scav to make him happy. He decided to go downstairs where his uncle used to spend his time with his buddies. Then he saw it. His uncle's buddies are dead. They're just lying there, alone and forgotten. How can this happen? How can this be? But hey, free loot. He quickly picked up everything from his buddies. All the important stuff was there bullets, magazines, helmets, guns, everything he needed for his scav life. This is it. This is the best day of his life. He creeped around the house a bit more, looking for things that could he pick up. If his uncle is not there, even better. But then he heard it. Somebody is creeping around. Somebody is upstairs. He was just there, there was nobody. It must be a rat. He decided to take him down. He will take him, him down alone. He can do this. He has prepared. He has this amazing loot. What could go wrong? His idea was to creep into the kitchen and wait for the rat to come down. The rat will smell the loot also. He will want it. But how can he lure him down? Maybe by just shouting some random Russian words. That would definitely help. <laughs> there he was, dead. <laughs> This rat definitely did not expect this. He did not expect this awesome gun with this awesome scav. Agnida! Exactly, he's a Gnida. Quickly, he had to loot him up. He had to pick up everything. This day was getting better and better. Even though this guy was just meh, it was enough for him. He had this awesome loot he's going to spend it for days never bringing it into a raid again and then he saw it his uncle 
lying there with one of his buddies. Dead or asleep, it doesn't matter. There is more loot. He has to pick it up. He has to get everything and get the hell out of here. There is somebody creeping outside. Look at this loot. Look at these magazines. All of these bullets and guns. This is going to make him rich. I wonder if his uncle has his golden gun with him. Yes, he does. Let's take his gun, his rifle, and let's just get out of here. <gasps> A labs card. He never saw this before. Yes, he's going to sell it. He will be rich. He will be rich until the wipe. This is definitely the best day of his life. It's time. It's time to go. He will pick up the last magazines and run. There is nothing else of interest for him here. His uncle served him well. But it's time. It's time to leave. He has to find an extract and just go. That's calves. They smell like them. He has to leave. Run, you little scav. Run.